Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're gonna review and install this Clear TV Premium HD as seen on TV. It's 4K ready. Um, be prepared, cable line cut out during a storm, uh, bypass cable and satellite, save money. Easy to install, small enough to fit almost anywhere. And it says you get these networks and more for free. Uh, NBC, HD, PBS, Fox HD, CW, my TV, HD, ABC, super simple to hook up. You're gonna hook it up with either a digital tuner or without a digital turner, tuner. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna hook this straight up to the coax input on this TV. This is an Insignia 32 inch TV, nothing fancy. It's about a hundred dollar TV. This one has two little metal antennas that can extend, so let's see, for $10, it should be an all right buy. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna hand cut it. Take this out. It's a manual inside. So the manual is gonna give you instructions. So connecting antenna to TV to a TV with a digital tuner. So this TV is a newer one, so it should have a digital tuner built in, and then they'll have an auto program scan and adjusting antenna locations to find more. This will uh, pick up up to 35 miles. So, and you also have a little customer service card and California warning, of course, you know, cause a scanter. Right, so, antenna these guys extend out does have looks like 3m adhesive on the bottom and a okay long coax cable let's see how long it is oops of course I would tangle it up um if I had a guess it's about six feet so let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna install this. So my TV is right here. So facing that way is a like patio. Living room's to the left, to the right is the outside wall. So the closer we get to the outside wall, the probably the better. So let's go ahead and come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and see my coax cable should be on the back right. So we go ahead and pull the TV down. And my coax cable is on the back right. So all I have to do is estimate how far I need it to go. And we can install it. I'm just gonna install it right here on the dresser on the top with the 3M adhesive. That should be plenty of room. You can just tuck the cord back there. I can install it so right there. All right, so that's over there. And now I can just take and install this coax cable. And I'm not 100% sure, but I imagine you could, if you wanted to, get a coax cable extender. So coax is really simple. You just plug it in and uh, twist the the nut until it tightens up. That will secure the grounding loop. All right. Now it's hooked up. Now with your TV on, we can go to TV. And I'm going to go ahead and mute my TV while we're here. And let's go to uh, menu. And then channels. And then scroll down to auto channel search. Then antenna. So it's going to go ahead and search for digital and analog. This process will be the same for, say, 
a flat mount, ultra thin HD TV antenna as well. I do have a video on this one that's going on the channel the same day. So if you want, you can check this video out as well. We've used this one before and we really like it. So I do recommend it. I got this one on sale, um, reduced price, not sure why, but uh, we will find out when we open this one. So, so far we're at 14, 20, 20. And honestly, for something that costs $10, you're going to get 20 stations or more. It's not bad. Obviously, this is going to depend on the location that you live, the material that your roof is made out of. So if you have a tin or metal roof, aluminum, you're probably going to have to put the antenna closer to a window or actually have one mounted outside, which they do make waterproof ones and larger ones. Now, this one only does 35 miles. This one does 25 miles. But you can buy for like $100, you can buy one that does like 85 90 miles and even more than that just depends on what you want to pay for All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and let this continue and I'll come back as soon as it's done Okay, so it's finishing up now. It looks like it only found 20 digital So it is done setting up so we can just hit okay, and there we have it. We have 20 channels and 720 because this TV is 720. So uh, some of them are gonna be 480, some of them 720, but all the way up to 4K depending on what's offered in your network, um, local area. Obviously these aren't gonna be the most requested um, TV stations, but they are something free to watch. And if you have a uh, cable go out, you have your local news and everything. So you're good to go there, which is nice. So I'm in North Florida, so I get uh, Jacksonville TV. But looks like we have plenty of TV stations to watch if we're bored and don't want to watch uh, anything on Netflix or Hulu or anything. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If this video helped you out, just let me know uh, down in the comments below. And if you have any tips or tricks um, to make this even better, comment them below as well.